Hi everyone, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here and today I have a very short video showing you how to create a song fade out in Logic Pro X. I'm just going to get straight into it. It's very simple. So I, when I first started with Logic, I couldn't figure out because there's no master track here like you normally have in other programs like Pro Tools and Ableton, how do you actually do that? So I've got a simple little meditation piece here and I want a nice slow fade out at the end. So what we need to do is open up the mixer using this button here. X is the shortcut for that on a Mac. Well, actually, Logic only does come on a Mac. You can't get it for PC. And then what we're going to do is right click on the master track that you can see right here. You can click anywhere on this uh, channel strip, right click your mouse and select create track. And then I'm going to get rid of the mixer and we should see now in the main uh, arrangement view that there is a master track there. I'm going to resize that to make it uh, as big as the other tracks. So now we've got a master track. We just need to create a volume automation fade out at the very end here. So I already know this is roughly where my song needs to end because there's a nice cadence. So I'm going to hit the A key and that's going to open up the automation view. You can also do that via the mix menu and select show automation. There should be a thin grayed out line that you can see kind of somewhere on the track and you'll notice that uh, volume automation is the default automation. You can change the automation, but because we need volume, this is fine. I'm going to click once on this grayed out line and it should turn yellow for me. Then if I click on the yellow line, it will make automation breakpoints like this. And then we drag the last one all the way down. I'm going to make sure it ends right where my cycle region ends there. And now always listen to your fade outs to make sure that they sound good. So let's listen. This is just some droning meditation music. So then you can just make sure your fade out sounds good um, and then your song is basically ready to export. It's that simple, but sometimes it can be just a little non-intuitive when you don't have a master track on your arrangement view. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time. Hey. Hey.